What's up, Car Kings? It's your boy, Scott Leonard. We just arrived at McLaren of Orlando, checking out some of the cars, so many different models. The first thing that stood out to me was the Speedtail, the Senna, and the other Speedtail. What a day, man. There are so many cool cars here. Starting off with the McLaren Speedtail, the roof scoop. God damn, this thing is so clean, man. I heard this roof scoop is like a $100,000 option, which is insane. The heat shielding is all coated in gold. I love how the car has like this very sloping low profile, hence the name Speedtail. Look at the back of this car, how it just slopes down. So when you're at speed, there's gonna be air just rushing over the top of the car, pushing it to the ground and just slipping off the back. Look at this, guys. The doors open up automatically. That's so cool, man. There is so much carbon fiber on these cars. Then check it out. Center seat comparable to the McLaren F1 car. I mean, look at this, man. This is a spaceship. Check out the view from the front. Everything is so driver focused. They have the special covering over the wheels for aerodynamics. Right next to this car, you have a McLaren Senna. You can see even the air ducts on this car, the side air ducts are kind of tucked in, whereas the centers are kind of standing out super aggressive. It probably doesn't make that much of a difference, but you can definitely see there's it's a lot less sleek. There's a lot more parts of the car protruding. You can see all of the air ducts sucking in air while you're driving this car. Like, check that out, man. There's air channels all over this car. And then you got the giant wing. I'm starting to see that's like a running theme with McLaren. Look at this. I never even noticed this. Behind the rear wheels, these vents that are just pushing air out. And what's cool is that all of the cars share a very similar design. Like it's hard to mistake this for any other brand because right off the bat, you can tell it's a McLaren. We have another speed tail, the same color as my car. All of them are on trickle chargers. This is one of the tricks that I need to learn from my car, putting the cloth so that it doesn't get scratched with the charging cable. These cars have so much aerodynamics, so much F1 technology. I just wanted to make an edit. So the Speedtail is a hybrid in theory. It's a parallel hybrid system. 300 horsepower motor like the P1, battery pack, along with 730 or 40 horse, the four liter twin turbo V8. Didn't even notice that they have the new McLaren 750S here. If you guys watched my last video, you know I was asking if anybody knew anyone who had one of these. So it's just a coincidence they have like six or seven of them here. Insane car. Just off the bat, looks alone. I am super blown away by this car. And the coolest thing is that this car is essentially a 765 LT. It has all of the performance, all of the rawness of the 765 LT. And also a lot of the design cues. If you're looking at McLarens right now and you're trying to decide between the 720S and the 765 LT. I think this is a great middle ground. Zero to 60 on this car, 2.8, but that's a very conservative number coming from the manufacturer. You're almost hitting 200 miles per hour and 22 seconds, that's insane. 740 horsepower. Look at the back of this car. Look at all of the detail. You got the same back, very, very reminiscent of the 765 LT. The only thing I see different here is that the 765 LT has four exhaust tips. This one has two. And just to make sure I'm not mistaking, we do have a, an example of a 765 LT right here. So let's go to the back and check it out. Yeah, you can see the backs are very, very similar. Four exhaust tips here, two there, the same long tail. Everything is actually pretty much the same, except you can see there's a few arrow bits here on the side that this car doesn't have. I'm sure in the future they'll probably come up with a version of this that has it. We can check out the front and you can see there are some differences. The front hood is the same. The louvers are the same. The lighting design is the same. The only difference I see is this splitter is slightly different, but you all know that splitters, you can always just get an aftermarket splitter that will basically be the exact same thing. So essentially you can get this car and just do a little bit of customization and you can get everything that that car has. It's basically that car. The other thing that's noticeable about this car is that it's not a hybrid. If you just want completely internal combustion engine performance, this would be the car to get because it is going to be essentially the last non-hybrid McLaren super level car that they come up with. Updated interior, the driver's side console, you can see it has updated dash with the little things for your finger so you can switch between modes without taking your fingers away from the steering wheel, which is pretty cool. Check this one out too, look at this, this is beautiful. Look at the seats, oh my God. Check out the pattern, that looks so cool, so cool. The front of the car, again, very, very, very similar to the 765 LT. I'm gonna go back to this car because I like this color more. This is Belize Blue, the McLarens look like they're air sculpted. Like you can see like 
the flow of the air going over the car and like these giant vents that just pull the air into those air ducts, the giant air ducts that are hidden by these doors. I've really never taken a close look at the 720S. I don't remember if they have these ducts here, but they look really cool. And obviously those are to bring more air into the engine bay so you can cool off the engine. That, if you're driving this car how it's intended to be driven, you're probably pushing it and it's probably extremely hot in there. The other thing I love about McLaren's is when you look at the diffuser, you can see the transmission of the car. It always just gives the cars like such an aggressive stance, like being able to look down there and see the exhaust and the transmission and everything. It's just so raw. But speaking of raw, this is probably going to give you the best driving experience for the buck. And they're ranging around the 350, 400 price range. If you're getting everything that you can get in a 765 LT for a discounted price, and updated tech, I would definitely be going for this car. I mean, it has the long tail, it has the aggressive aero in the back and the cooling, it has the really cool center exhaust, it has the louvers in the front, the vents on the hood. Like I said, very, very, very reminiscent to that 765 LT. And then right across from this, you got the Arturo, the new hybrid car. I like the design of these cars. I feel like maybe, maybe a wing in the back, but they still look really cool. I'm like over here trolling these guys while they're at work. <laughs> 765, how many were produced? Uh, there were 765, right, Leah? Yeah, oh, wow, well, okay. 765 Good. Okay. Spiders, yep. Okay. Thanks, guys. Of course. <laughs> that's what happens when you don't have any. I'm not prepared for this today. I just came in. So that's what happens when you don't have the stats. You can stop by and ask the guys who actually know what the car is. <laughs> Yo guys, check this out. Supernova Silver 750S. Wow, okay, it's a spider. I didn't notice it was a spider. You can't have a supercar without the cup holder. At least one. If you are gonna come to McLaren or to get a car, this is the guy to speak with, man. Matt Yates. Thank you. I'll put his information in the description. Yeah, that sounds insane. It's so fast. Better than 720. Um, but there is still turbo lag, right? There's no hybrid assist. Um, yeah. If you really roll into it, like right now, at 3,000 RPM, you're gonna get a little bit of turbo lag, but as we go through here, right, right there. Serious power there, man. I think I'm almost gonna get a new pair of pants when I get out of this car. <laughs> say this car is bonkers he had me praying for my life in that bro oh come on look at that that is insane you press this and it's one push it goes to all your settings one set up to go into everything track mode Definitely an experience. I've never been in a 765 LT before. Not as close yeah. as you can get. It's, uh, with more comfort, really. You know how the 570S has a 600 LT? Visually, they're very similar, except there's like maybe a little bit more air on the 600 LT and a little more power. I feel like that's kind of like the difference between this and the 765 LT. I would like, say like, so. Yeah. Yep. 
a lot of Alcantara in here. And I'm assuming you can spec all this with like carbon fiber if you wanted to. Oh yeah. It has the electrochromatic roof too. Okay. Cool wow. feature. Press that button to light oh, wow. this up. Work on this up. Right. Yeah. Make or break question, this has an Apple CarPlay? No Apple CarPlay. No CarPlay a revised yet. screen, but no Apple CarPlay. They do make modules for it, however. Oh, it's hydraulic steering? Yeah, still hydraulic. No, uh, no electrical no wire. Same brakes. Okay. Model by wire, but that's, that's it. Everything else is going to be okay. connected right to the road. Being part of the car. That's right. And then this shares the same engine as... The Senna, the long tail, 720S, 765 LT. That's right. And then the other generation of parts, I guess, was all like the V1 engine. They're all, they all stem from the same 3.6, okay. I think a 3.8, and then a 4 liter is what we're currently okay. in right now. I'm not experienced this. Maybe one day I'll be able to experience it as the owner. <laughs> you That's will. the goal, man. Oh, yeah. You That's will. the final goal. I drive fast, but I normally don't like push my car that much. Oh, oh, that right. was fun. It's your own car. Yeah. That was fun. I guess I'm gonna be heading out. All right, my man. Thanks for letting me yeah. come and check out everything, Absolutely. man. Absolutely. Great, great time. Um, glad you came by as well. Love yeah. your content. Yeah. <laughs>